morning ladies and welcome back to the channel for our 30 minute full body hourglass sculpt. Today I'll be helping you tone into your natural hourglass curvature by working into the upper body, tightening and toning the abs and waist with a deep core burn and also firming and rounding into the hips and glute area. For equipment today all you'll be needing is a light or medium pair of dumbbells as well as a resistance band if you have one. If you don't please don't worry about it. You can do every exercise without. Smash that thumbs up button for me before we get started. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and be sure to make it to the end because I'll be announcing what our next calendar is going to look like. All right, everyone, let's go get burning. Okay, everyone, this is definitely one of my favorite styles to work out in. We're doing Pilates style on the mat today, and then we've got 12 supersets to cover. Each of those supersets, we've got two minutes of work with 30 seconds rest, and within each of those, you've got three to four exercises around 30 seconds each. So we're going to start off with the arms, with the shoulders. I'll show you our first four exercises, and then as we get started, I'll tell you a little bit more. However, our first four, so our palms are gonna face down, we're gonna come up to the front and the side, we're gonna circle around and go back the other direction. At 30 seconds, we turn the palms up, continue with that same exercise, and then as we get into the minute point, we're gonna come into a hammer curl and press, and finish off with palms out presses. So let's get started with our workout. If you wanna do this in standing, you absolutely can, but get those lighter weights in your hands, and we are starting in three, in two, in one, shoulders back and down, squeeze the abs in, let's come up to the front and the side and circle round. So since we're just getting started, you can bring those weights all the way down. If you wanna make it harder, you're gonna come down about three quarters of the way. So we're starting off with the shoulders, then we're gonna go into the triceps, so that is the back of the arm area. Then we're going into the chest and then finishing off with the back for our arm superset. After that, we've got four supersets covering the abs and the waist and finishing our routine off with the glutes and the hips and outer thighs in three, in two, in one, palms up, we come up, two, over, down, two, and then come back up for me. Now, as you come up, we're only coming up to shoulder height, face straight ahead, only thing moving is those arms, and just focus on those muscles, great job. Waking ourselves up, getting ready for a really good workout, and in five, in four, in three, Two, one, I want you to bring those palms in. 90 degree angle, tuck the elbows in. We come up and press with those palms facing in. Hammer curl to hammer press, straight overhead and back down. Control that movement, by the way. Think about working the biceps as you come back up and come down, controlling that weight. One, two, three, four. Now, like I said, each of these supersets, we've got three to four exercises in, 30 seconds each, so it's actually gonna go by pretty darn quick, but you are gonna feel that burn. Not a super sweaty workout today. In three, in two, in one, I want you to take those elbows out towards the side, palms are facing out, press up and lower, up and lower. Straight line, elbow to elbow, rib cage is down, abs are squeezed in, and we are excited to get that burn on. Another 15 seconds here, then you get a 30 seconds rest, in which during that time frame I'll be showing you what our next four exercises are. Give me another five, another four, three, two, last press, finish it off, and bring those weights back in and down. All right, next four exercises, we're gonna go into the back of the arms here, so we're gonna hinge forward at the hips. Now, your hands, your palms are facing in, we squeeze the elbows in towards the waist, come back in and down. Most of you will know what these are, I'm sure you've done them before with me. After that, we're gonna bring the weights down to the mat, either on your knees or in a plank. We're gonna go into our renegade rows, and then our third exercise, moving those weights aside, going into a down dog. Follow along for the rest in three, two, one. Palms are down, squeeze the elbows in, come back, in, down. Control it, one, two, three, Four. Now try to lift those arms up nice and high, squeezing the shoulder blades together, elbows in towards that waist, and facing down at your mat. Just follow along with my voice. We've got four exercises. It's gonna go by fast. We wanna strike that burn up, feel it in our arms, our abs, our glutes, hourglass sculpt today. In three, two, one, bring the weights down to the mat. Now either on those toes or on the knees, renegade row, elbow in towards the waist. Squeeze and lower, squeeze, and lower, control that movement for me. Squeeze and lower, great job everyone. Facing down, minimal sway in those hips. Hands are right below the shoulder here. Give me another six, five, four, three. You've got two more in you, two. And on one, I want you to move those weights over to the side. Hands again, right below the shoulder. We come up into a downward dog. Now as we come down, if you can, triceps push up. 
Elbows come in towards the waist for this. Lift back, come forward and slowly down. And if the triceps press up is too much for you, if you have a rotator cuff issue, then just come into a standard push up or do it on your knees. Another three. And two. On one, I want you to take one more downward dog, stretch it out, come down to the knees, and then flip around for me. We're gonna dig the heels in, toes are up, hands below the shoulder, lift the hips up nice and high. We come down, down, and squeeze it up. Down, down, squeeze it up. Great job. Try to drop a little bit lower, lift those hips a little higher. You've got 10 seconds left of the superset, and then two more for arms. Three, and two. Chin in towards the chest. Last one, and hold at the bottom for three, for two, for one, lift it, and lower down. Just like that, on a superset number three, we're gonna come onto our back, grab both your weights for me, working into the chest muscles now. So we're gonna bring those weights straight to center. Whew. And let me just adjust my timer here. So those weights come to the center, elbows in towards the waist. We're doing a diamond press, so we go straight up and lower down. In three, in two, face straight ahead. In one, we squeeze those weights up and lower it down. Exercise number two, we're gonna bring those hands apart and go into a narrow press, but we're not there yet. I just want you to focus on working those chest muscles, keeping those elbows tucked in, controlling every movement. We've got four really awesome exercises here that I was super excited about, one of which I don't think I've shown you for a while. Keep going. Five and four. Three, we should be starting to feel a little warmer right now, right? Two, on one, let's take those weights apart. This time, we're gonna bring the elbows in towards the waist and straight overhead with those weights apart. Narrow press. If you want, you could use heavier weights for these two exercises, but the last one of this superset, super light weights or none at all. We're gonna work into those chest muscles, into that bra line area. And it is important to work the upper body, especially if you want an hourglass shape, if that's your aesthetic goal, because it does create the illusion of a tinier waist. In three, in two, in one. This time we take the weights, palms still facing in, we come down right beside the temples and lift it back up. Control this motion down, control the motion up. One, two, three, four, great job. One, two, three, for the upper portion of your arms, stay stationary. You're bending through the elbows, squeezing those triceps at the top. And in five, four, three, two, last one. Bring those arms up. Now take the arms out towards the side for me. Keep the elbows above the mat. We're gonna come over for two, and down, two, three, four. And up, around, two, three, four, and down, two, three, Four, keep those elbows lifted. Two more reps here. One, two, three, four, and four, three, two, one. Last time, down, two, three, four, and out to the side. Bring those weights up, bring the elbows down and in, and lower those weights off to the side. All right, last superset for our arms. We're actually gonna come into a plank position. I know you guys love hearing that but we actually don't have any side planks today, so you can, you know, give me a clap on that one. <laughs> so we're gonna come into that high plank position. I want you to hold here to start. As we come up, we're gonna come down, down, up, up, after holding that plank for a second. Come up for me, or on the knees, in three, two, one. Now hold right here for five, four, squeeze those abs in, three, two, on one, we come down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Alternate the sides for me. Amazing job. Now this one, I think this is our hardest circuit for the arms. These commandos are no joke. I know they burn, but they definitely work. In five, four, three, two on one. Come up, now hold again. Keep holding. Five, four, hold strong. Three, two, on one. Tap the opposite hand to the opposite shoulder. Again, keeping that lower body stationary. Minimal sway in those hips. Press through the opposite toe of the hand that you're lifting for 10, nine, we're gonna come to the ground after this. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now gently lower yourself down to the mat. Feet and knees and thighs all squeezed together. We're gonna bring those hands in front. Now face down at your mat. 
Squeeze the elbows back and come forward. Palms are facing down. Squeeze, extend. Squeeze, extend. To make this harder, we lift those toes up off the floor. Squeeze, extend. Head facing down for five. For four, try to lift the chest up higher. Three, two, on one, I want you to take those arms behind. Now turn the palms up, hold here. We pulse up for 10, nine, higher, eight, seven, six, five, last 15 seconds, four, three, two, one. Now take the arms in front, squeeze back again for five, four, three, come on, finish it, two, Last one, and lift yourself on up. All right, you can stretch that out for me. We are gonna need that band. We're going into our ab superset, for which we're gonna pop the band right above the tops of our knees. I'm gonna grab a drink of water. We're going in 20 seconds. And from here, we're gonna come onto our back. All right, so we come all the way down. Now squeeze that belly button in. We wanna really squeeze those abs tight for this one. We're gonna lift both legs up straight. Now pull some tension out against that band. Both hands come behind the head. Left leg drops, pulses, comes back up. Keep that right leg up straight. Down, pulse, lift it up. Squeeze those abs in, lift the chest up if you can. If it's too much for you, just relax the head down, but keep on going for me. Down, pulse, lift, lift. You've got 10 seconds here, and then we switch it up. We're gonna do one minute each side, something different every time. Woo, four, three, two, on one. Keep that leg down, left elbow to right knee. Squeeze and lower, squeeze and lower. Great job, four, and three. Lift that shoulder up, two. Can you straighten the leg more? One, now come down, straight crunch, five, and four, three more, three, Two, last one, lower it down, lift that left leg up, pull that tension out. Right leg comes down, pulse, lift. Lift the chest up if you can, working into the lower and the upper abs. You're gonna start to feel warm by the end of this superset. And then we're gonna fire up those abs even more. Keep going for me. Five, four more drops, four. Woo, I'm starting to feel it. Three, two, one more. Lift it, bring it down, now hold it low. Right elbow, left knee. One, two, squeeze it. Three, can you lift up even higher? I think you can. Four, and five, two more, gotta even it out. Squeeze, and squeeze. Now come down, straight crunch. Five, oh my gosh, it burns. Four, three, if the back is lifting, bring that leg up higher, two, Last one, and lift both legs up for me. Bring the knees in and gently roll them back down. Okay, next exercise, we're gonna go into our bicycle crunches. Again, single side, 30 seconds each. So we're gonna bring the legs into tabletop, pull that tension out against the band. Hands come behind. We cross over for 30 seconds, extending that right leg. At 30 seconds, we switch sides, and then we come into V-sit position. From here, we're gonna take the knees in, extend, open, close. Going in four, going in three, let's come into that tabletop, two, and one. Cross over, bring that knee in. One, two, three, four. Trying to bring that elbow to the knee. Elbows stay out wide behind the head, lifting the shoulder up off the ground. Keeping this knee at a 90 degree angle, straight line from hip to knee. Squeeze and in. Squeeze and in. You've got 10 seconds here. Keep going, lift up even higher. Think about squeezing that oblique muscle, that mind muscle connection that we talk about. Three, two, one, change sides. Straight change, squeeze and lower. Extend and lower. You're doing amazing. I definitely feel this one. I'm hoping you feel this one. You against you today on the mat. We don't even have to stand up to feel that burn. Pilates does not always mean easy. Five and four. Three more. Come on, work for it. Three, two, last one. And bring those knees in. Now roll yourself up for me. Keep that band where it is. If you need to, you can remove it. We're going to crunch in, extend, 
open, close. Beginners, you can have one leg down and just work on that one side. I'll tell you when to switch sides. In, extend, open, close. So like the entire time, keeping tension against that band. Face straight ahead. And if you want to make this harder, <laughs> we're going to come up, extend, open, close. In four, three, two, one. Advance, you keep going. Beginner, change legs. Open, close. In, extend, open, close. Yeah, we've got a full minute here. In three, two, one. I want you to come out. Now open the legs wide. Pulse for 10, nine, eight. Lean back further. Seven, six, five, four. Keep going. Three, two, one. One last crunch for me. Extend, open, close, and lower it down. So how did that feel? I think that that definitely woke things up down there. So we're gonna go into that V sit once again, but we're doing something a little bit different. So onto the forearms to start. We're gonna straighten those legs in front. You can take the band off if you need to. We're gonna take our right hand, bring it behind the head, and then we're gonna crunch across that left, out, left knee and come down. Then switching sides at the 30 second point. And as we get into the minute, just follow along with me. In three, two, one, hand behind, right elbow, left knee, squeeze, extend, squeeze, extend, great job. Three, in two, on one, I'm gonna show you how to make it harder, we lift up, other hand comes behind and we squeeze across. This one absolutely kills, it's brutal, keep going. You've only got 10 seconds left here. Five, four, slow and controlled, three, two, Last one, now come back to the forearm, left arm behind, over to that right knee. Squeeze, and squeeze. Five, four, three, you know it's coming. Two, if you wanna make it harder, come up. Both hands behind, squeeze, extend. For five, for four, really twist it. Three, two, last one. Now bring it down, I want those feet together. We're gonna come onto our backs. Hands come at the sides, we go into a frog bridge. Lower, lift the chest, heel tap to heel tap. Let's go, lift, lower, squeeze those glutes. Lift the chest, over to the right and tap, over to the left and tap. We're gonna to try to reach for the ankle. If you can reach it, that is awesome. If you can't, just go as far as you can, squeezing those side ab muscles, working into the waist. Lift, and to the right, and to the left. In three, in two, in one, bring yourself to center, knees wide, lift it up. Now hold right here, we pump out for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, wider, come on, four, three, higher, two, one, and lower down, keep those knees wide, lift the chest over to the left for five, pulse, for four, for three, breathing out as you come across, two, one, and over to the other side for five, four, finish it, three, two, last one, and lower it down. All right, last, last superset for our abs and waist. We're going to come onto our side, onto the forearm, no band for this one, let's take that off. You've got 17 seconds, starting on your weaker side, now lift the rib cage up, squeeze those abs in. We're going to bring our right arm behind, or whichever arm you're is on top of you right now, okay? We're gonna lift, crunch, and in, crunch. In two, in one, let's go. Lift, crunch and squeeze, in, crunch and squeeze. One, two, three, four. Keep the rib cage up, don't let it slide down. I don't wanna see sinking. We wanna have it controlled. Lift, lower, in, extend, squeeze it. One, two, three, Four, pull that elbow way across that knee for me. You've got this. In five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna take both legs up and we're gonna crunch in, extend. Resting on that hip bone. Yeah, this one is killer. One, two, three, four. Work for it. Lift those legs up for me. If you can't do these, it's okay. Just go with that single leg crunch as long as you keep on moving. That's the goal today, right? Keep moving. Feel amazing and getting ready for our next calendar guide, which I'll be telling you about at the end. Five, four, three, two on one, straight change. Swing it around for me. And we go into that lift, crunch, lower, in, crunch, extend. 
Oh my goodness, yes. I was kind of nervous about this one because I know some of these exercises, they get tricky and they get tricky to explain, especially whenever, whatever, whenever I have to explain left and right, I start stumbling over my words, but they actually say the more nervous you are about something, the more you care about it. So if you're nervous about this workout with me, then you really care today. Keep going. Four, three, two on one. Lift both those legs up. We crunch in, we extend, we crunch in. We extend, there we go. So after this, great news, we are already past our abs and waist circuit, which means we're on the last four supersets of this workout. Oh, squeeze it, come on, work that waistline. You're gonna feel this one tomorrow. Four, three, that's only if you do it, not if you sit there staring at me. Two, and one, great job. Lower it down. We've got our last four supersets to cover. We're gonna pop that band back on. We're also gonna pick up those weights, going back into those froggy bridges, waking up the glutes, waking up the outer thighs, grabbing a drink of water if you need it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Early morning today, you can hear my voice fading, but it's definitely not as bad as when I had to film that arm workout two times through, which if you did that one, <laughs> thanks for bearing with me. All right, so we come down to the ground, Feet come together, toes come together, knees nice and wide, and we're gonna bring those weights to the pelvis. It's up, up, halfway lower. Up, up, halfway lower. Now tuck your chin in towards your chest, kind of stare down at your tailbone and consider curling it towards you. You're squeezing the glutes. We don't want a super crazy arch in the back. We wanna work the glutes, come up as high as you can, squeezing those booty cheeks. Up, up, slowly lower. Squeeze those butt cheeks together. And in three, in two, in one. You have no idea what's coming. Hold it up, left leg out and in for five, four. Keep those hips high. Three, two, one. Bring it in, hold for five, four, three, two, one. Right leg out and in, five, Woo. four, Three, don't let it drop. Two, last one. And now we're gonna bring those weights over to the side. Hands come right below the shoulder. Feet stay together, knees wide. We come up, open, close, half lower. And my weight is rolling away. Okay, so how cute are those gold weights? I think they're super, super pretty. But I will say that the ones with the square shape of the rectangular bottoms, a little bit more practical because these just roll away on their own. They just do whatever they want. Keep going, up. Open, close, and lower. In five, four, three, two, one. Come up, pulse out for 10. Wide, nine, eight, you've got this. Seven, keep them high. Six, five, tuck that tailbone under. Four, three, two, one. And we go back to down, up, open, close for four. Oh my gosh, for three. It burns, two. Last one, lift, open, hold for three, for two, for one, and lower it down. Okay, you're gonna take that band off for me. We're gonna pop it over to the side. This time we're gonna flip over onto our stomachs. Now hands come right in front, facing down at the mat. Squeeze the abs in. We're gonna take our feet to the sides of the mat, flex them for me, straighten the legs out. We're gonna lift, lift, and lower down on the right. At 30 seconds, we're gonna switch over to that left. Two more exercises after that, and we're going in five seconds. So get yourself into position for me. Now think about working those glute muscles, and in three, in two, in one, we lift, lift, lower on that right. Lift, lift, lower on the right. Working into that under booty. Now our last two supersets are gonna be for the outer thighs and the outer glutes and hip area. I think they're the most brutal, so let's just get through this one. Enjoy this burn, and this is also a really great way to activate if you have trouble feeling one of your butt cheeks fire up. Keep going. Up, up, and slowly lower. Lift a little higher for five, four, three, Two, last one, and straight change that left. Up, up, and slowly lower. Think about the butt cheek doing the work here. Up, up, slowly lower. You should be feeling it there. Up, up, and slowly lower. Again, keep going. Five more. And four more. You got this. Everything you've got for these last three, three supersets. Last two. 
Last one, slowly bring it down. Now let's bring the toes together, bring them up for me. Knees come wide, butterfly up, up and lower down. Control the movement, slow and controlled. Thinking about the glute muscles, getting that mind to muscle connection, working against the resistance that your legs are giving you. Up, up and slowly lower. If you wanna make this harder and you wanna bring the legs up higher, take the hands, palms are facing up, pop them right below the pelvis. It's gonna help you lift a little higher and lower down, up, up, and slowly lower. Whatever's more comfortable for you, not a problem for me. One more time, up, up, slowly lower. Now we're gonna bring the hands back in front. If you have them under, straighten the legs, flex the feet, heel tap in and out for 10, nine, eight, lift higher, seven, six, you got this, five, four, don't let the legs drop, three, two, on one, come to center, hold. Now flutter up and down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold, hold, and lower it down. All right, grabbing that band, onto our last two supersets, into the outer glutes, hips, thighs. These are the burners, these are the ones that truly, truly hurt, but we're gonna make it through because it is our last and final two. So we're gonna come down into our side lying position. Let's bring the toes together. Now we're gonna bring the toes up off the ground, beginners, you can leave them down on the mat. We lift up, we open, pump, and slowly lower. In four, in three, two minutes each side, two, in one. If you wanna make it harder, weight comes onto the thigh. Up, up, and slowly lower. Up, up, and slowly lower. 30 seconds here, 30 seconds, and we're gonna switch it. Final minute, two different exercises. Like I said, goes by fast, because we're keeping our mind active, we're keeping ourselves going, but it's still gonna burn. Push out against that band. Can you lift up even higher? Can you press out even more? Are you giving me everything you've got? In five, four, three, two, one. We take it open, flick, together, close. Not closing all the way though. Keeping tension on that band. Just coming down a little bit, opening, flicking, closing. One, two, three, four. You're almost there. One, two, three, Four, the weight does make it harder. The further you bring it down, the harder it's gonna be. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now bring the legs down. We're gonna take our top leg out of that band, straighten it out for me, flex the foot, we slide forward, and we arc back. There we go. One, two, three, four. Is anyone else's booty cramping right now? Because mine definitely is, especially after waking it up like that. 30 seconds here, our last 30 seconds is the most brutal, so I won't tell you what it is yet. Keep going for me. Forward, forward, arc it back. In five, four, three, two, one. Slide it as far forward as you can. Toes down, heel up, turn that foot. Now pump, 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 pump. Keep going, 20 seconds, lift it higher. Do not let your foot hit the mat. I want it up nice and high for 10, nine, Eight, you're almost there. Seven, six, work hard. Five, four, dig deep and pass that burn. Three, two, one. Now hold it high for four, three, two, one, and bring it down. Okay, straight over to that other side. I want your leg back into that band. Oh my gosh, give a slap, wake it back up. We're going back into our clam, open, open, close, and then we do the flicks and we've got 20 seconds to get into position. Now again, if you want, you can use that weight. Beginners, toes stay on the mat, advance. You can lift them up. You can do this on the forearm or down here. You've got five seconds. All right, who's ready? I know you're ready. I know you just told me no, don't tell me no. Lift the toes up in two and one. We open, open, slowly lower. Open, open, slowly lower. Push out against that band. Grab a heavier band. Work for it. This is the outer booty. It's a tough thing to target, but we can do it. Firming, rounding, lifting those glutes up, up, and slowly lower. Do not bring your knees to touch. Another four. Another three. Give me a smile. Come on. Two. Last one. And now we open, flick, together, halfway down. Open, flick together halfway down. My butt is so cramped right now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is some brutal pain. Squeeze those abs in. Keep them tight. Nice tight rib, rib cage. Abs. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Come on. Open against the band. Press out even harder. Five, 
and four. You know what's coming next. Even it out. Three, two, last one. Flick together, close. Now take that top leg out of the band. Keep the bend in the bottom. Flex the top foot. We, we slide forward and we arc back. Slide it forward, arc it back. Come on, lift that leg up high. Keep it away from the mat. Do not let your toes hit the mat. And squeeze those abs for me. Last minute here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Another three and two. Last one, take that leg forward. Toe comes down, heel comes up, pop, pop. Pop, I know this is a hard one, but it is our last final 25 seconds. And you get to find out what our next calendar is going to be right at the end. So you want to make it to the end. You want to stay. You want to finish it. This is you. All about you today. Five, four, three. Lift it higher. Two, weight lower. One, hold it up high for five, four, three, two, one. And you can bring that weight over to the side. Pop that band off. Give yourself a high five of congratulations, a milkshake. I don't know, I'd rather a protein shake, but, <laughs> but I gotta get on with my day. I do have to get to work. It has been a pretty brutal morning. And um, yes, yeah, stay tuned to the end because I'm gonna tell you what's next. I'll see you guys for our next workout. Congratulations on making it through the last workout of our five times strong and sexy guide. Now do me a favor, drop a comment. Let me know how you felt by the end, how you got along, and whether or not you completed every workout from this series. Now don't forget that next Wednesday, we've got a brand new workout coming up. This is a full body calisthenics workout, so no equipment's needed. And it also marks the beginning of our brand new calendar, which I promised to announce. It is our Fired Up February guide. This one's gonna have five workouts a week with a brand new one every single Wednesday. You can find this calendar in the links in the description and just follow it along from there. All right, everyone, smash that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you didn't already. Turn those notifications on. Don't forget to tag me in your sweaty Insta stories because I absolutely live for that. And I will see you for our brand new bird.